Fuel from Limerick Institute of Technology. And today's lesson, we will be looking at photosynthesis. We know that every food item has large amounts of energy stored within it. But do you know where this energy originally came from? If we look at food chains, we realise that the sun is the original source of energy. Plants can make or synthesise their own food in a process called photosynthesis. This is a biochemical process that plants use to convert water and carbon dioxide into energy. Photosynthesis is made up of two words, photo meaning the light and synthesis meaning manufacture. In the food chain, we can see that the plants trap the sun's energy and use it to produce food. We call these plants producers. All other organisms in the food chain are consumers. And now we're going to look at the process that plants use to trap the sun's energy to make or synthesize food. To make food, plants need not just one, but all of the following. Carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight. And these are known as the limiting factors. Now the photosynthesis process takes place within the leaves of plants, which are made up of many tiny cells. Inside of these cells are tiny structures called chloroplasts. Each chloroplast contains a green chemical called chlorophyll. This gives leaves their green colours and allows photosynthesis to take place. Carbon dioxide from the atmosphere passes into the leaves through small openings or pores called stomata. Water is absorbed by the roots and passes up through vessels on the stem of the plant into the leaves. Chlorophyll found within the cells of leaves absorbs the energy from the sun. It is this energy that is used to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen is then released back into the atmosphere and hydrogen and carbon dioxide are used by the plant to synthesize glucose or its food source. This process can be summarized in two ways. The first, the balanced word equation with carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight gives glucose and oxygen. And the second way to summarize this process is with a balanced chemical equation. Six molecules of carbon dioxide, six CO2, plus six molecules of water, six H2O, in the presence of sunlight, gives one molecule of glucose, C6H12O6, plus six molecules of oxygen, 6O2. And remember, the sunlight is trapped in the leaves by the chlorophyll. Plants can use glucose for their own energy, or it can be stored for later use as starch, and it can also be used to produce fibres and oils. Photosynthesis is essential to life on Earth. Most living organisms, including humans, cannot live without it. As well as being a food source for animals, it removes carbon dioxide from our atmosphere and releases oxygen. To summarize, photosynthesis is the process that traps the sun's energy and allows plants to synthesize their own food. It provides a food source for animals and humans and Earth could not survive without it. Thank you for listening.
listening. Please check the project portal for more resources on photosynthesis.